This is chicken surprise, and the surprise is I have never made this. If you're not making a mess when you're cooking, what the fuck are you doing? I'm making chicken surprise. What is the surprise? I don't know what I'm making. That's the surprise. It's different every single time, and it's always delicious. This is, this is cooked chunked chicken breast. You could use rotisserie chicken. I just cooked this yesterday. It's just roasted and seasoned up with whatever the hell I like. This is chopped ham. Throw it in. There's more ham than chicken, and I realize this might be a mistake, but I don't care. I have cream of celery soup. Two cans. Hopefully that's not too much. I have a bag of broccoli that I have microwaved. Throw that in. We're going for like a cheesy chicken cordon bleu with broccoli situation. Vibe. Whatever. I don't know. Breakfast blend, which is just Swiss and sharp white cheddar. A whole bag. Wasn't part of the plan, but it is now. Some French onion seasoning. You can use whatever kind of seasoning you see fit in this. I just feel like this is the right call here. Maybe use Gruyere cheese and give it a French onion vibe as well. Stir this shit around. Mash up your broccoli as you go so that it's not giant hunks of broccoli mixed into this. This is the base of the casserole. It's a casserole. Did I tell you we're making a casserole? In a perfect world, I would make the cream sauce myself and I wouldn't use canned cream of whatever soup. You can do that. It's literally just flour, butter, milk, and cheese. Stir it around. I could have done that. I didn't. I was going for easy. Into a baking dish. Plop your mixture. Getting it all over the counter is a requirement. Now you could stop here and just bake it, but I'm not going to do that because I have the too much gene and this is what I always do for my chicken surprise casserole. You fill the bottom of the baking dish with something with chicken and the surprise is stuffing on top. There's shit all over the floor. Into a separate bowl. Stuffing mix. This is chicken stuffing. I'm using two boxes. That might be too much, but if it is, it's fine. And the only other thing you're going to add is sour cream, a hefty amount. Enough to fully incorporate and make all of this bread wet. Stir it in as you see fit. This bowl isn't big enough either. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> oh my God. I'm using my hands. I don't care at this point. This is horrible. It's mixed. Now wash your fucking hands. Your hands should be washed before this. But before you do that, pick all of the excess off of the counter. If you're not crunching pieces of stuffing under your feet at this point, you didn't do it right. To the top of our chicken surprise, we're going to pour our stuffing mixture. Top your casserole with more cheese. And why, you might be asking? Because it's a casserole made in the Midwest. What do you expect from me? Apparently two whole bags of cheese are needed for this recipe. This is gonna feed your family for multiple days. This is not a one and done meal. This is, no one's consuming this all in one go. Pop it in the oven until it looks done. And there you have it, chicken surprise. Let's give this a taste because I know what you're thinking. Is it even good? And I have Emily here to taste it with me because I made this ahead of time because I have things to do. Blow on it. Use your mouth. Opposed to what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is so good. But mm -hmm. of course it's good. I made it. Follow along for more aggressive tutorials.